adventure fans, calling all Dick Tracy fans. Stand by. Dick Tracy is on the air. Now, the makers of Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice, those specially delicious quick energy cereals that are shot from guns, bring you another thrilling Dick Tracy adventure. Remember the sound of those big guns, boys and girls. It means trigger fast food energy, the same kind of quick energy that helps keep Dick Tracy so alert and so physically fit. That's the way you like to be, isn't it? Especially if you want to be a good athlete. You need lots of the trigger fast food energy that Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice can give you. Those two delicious cereals are especially easy to digest because they're shot from guns. And that's why thousands of active athletic boys, girls, and grown ups have Quaker Puffed Wheat or Quaker Puffed Rice for breakfast every day. So ask Mother to get you some of those delicious, quick-energy cereals from the grocer. Dick Tracy has been guarding the Black Pearl of Osiris, a relic which belongs to a religious Egyptian cult. Tracy has kept the pearl in the secret compartment of a ring given to him by Humi Batik, a high priest of the cult. While the police were searching for the Mogul, the head of a society of art thieves who want the pearl, the Mogul visited Pat Patton and hypnotized him. Pat, under the Mogul spell, succeeded in getting the ring from Tracy. But the great detective knew something was wrong. He followed Pat and confronted the Mogul as Pat was giving him the ring. Unknown to Tracy, he too had been followed by Dryden Small, a henchman of the Mogul's. And as our last episode closed, Tracy and Pat were trapped, helpless, in the hands of these two arch criminals. I think the best thing to do in your case, Tracy... The best thing to do from the point of view of Mr. Small and myself would be to put you and Mr. Patton out of the way for good. Yes, it seems to me that would be the best and only thing to do, Tracy. And we might as well do it now. Wait a minute. You can't do that, Mogul. And why not, Small? We've got these two just where we want them. We might as well get rid of them now. That's all right for you to say. You've got one murder on your hands now, and they can't hang you twice. But it's different with me. I may be in trouble with the police, but I'm not wanted for murder. And that's what this would let me in for. Ah, you're showing good sense at last, Small. That's enough, Tracy. Small, I'll handle this. That'll let you out. And now, Tracy... forget I've got a gun, McGill. Don't think I'm worried about Tracy, do you? But I am worried about myself. We've got the pearl and the ring, and that's what we're after. We're not going to kill Tracy and Patton. Oh, you're a fool, Small. A cowardly fool. Perhaps not so much of a fool as you think. Larson is one thing, murder's another. Your car's standing at the curb... You've got the ring and the pearl? Let that be enough. Well, I see it will have to be. All right, Tracy. Patton, just stand where you are. Don't move. I'll trouble you both for your gun. What about it, Dick? We've got to get him up, Pat. All right. Small, get into the car and get it started while I keep these two covered. You're lucky, Tracy. If Small hadn't come along, you'd be dead by this time. You forget. Small hadn't come along, I have you by this time. All right. But don't move. One false move and I'll put a bullet into you. Goodbye, Tracy. This is the last time we'll meet, I hope. Oh, but Dick, I couldn't sleep. I just had to wait up for you. Well, that's all right, Junior. Go back to bed now and get some sleep. Say, they caught Dryden Small and the McGull yet? No, Junior, they haven't. We almost had one of them tonight. If it hadn't been for the other... Hey, you've been guarding that black pearl for weeks. Now that it's gone, well, it doesn't seem to bother you at all. It doesn't, Pat. Because the black pearl is still safe. What? What was that? Junior, let me have your secret ring a minute. You mean the black pearl is... The black pearl is in Junior's ring, Pat. Here's the ring, Pat. Yeah. You see? Oh, Dick, that's marvelous. Dick, you think of everything, don't you? When I spoke to you earlier this evening, I sensed there was something wrong with you, Pat. That you weren't yourself, that something had happened to you. I don't know whether you remember that before I gave you the ring, I stepped into the bedroom to see if Junior was getting ready for bed. No, I don't remember, Dick. Just as the mole girl said, I don't remember a thing that happened. Well, it was then that I changed the pearl from my ring into Junior's. The mole girl and Dryden Small have the secret ring, Pat. But they haven't got the black pearl. And is that good news? Dick, you don't know what a load this takes off my mind. Well, Mr. Tracy, indeed welcome. Thank you, Batik. 
I've come to tell you that everything's been arranged. You sail tonight for home. And you'll have the Black Pearl of Osiris with you. Well, that makes me so happy. And I owe all this to you, Mr. Tracy. Forget it, Batty. By the way, Mr. Tracy, I just noticed uh, you are not wearing your ring. No. No, I'm afraid my secret ring is now in the possession of the Mogul. But the Black Pearl... It's, it's safe. Have no fear. I'll deliver it to you tonight on the boat. Your departure must be kept secret. I've arranged to have you taken aboard tonight. But uh, what of the Mogul and Dryden Small? You have skill to catch them. I'll catch them. Don't worry about that. Perhaps I can help you, Mr. Tracy. You've done so much for me. Surely there is something I can do for you in return. No, thanks just the same, Batik. Although I do appreciate your offer. Well, perhaps at another time there will be another way in which I can help you. There must be. For I have determined to pay back the debt I owe you, Mr. Tracy. And someday... Ready to sail, Captain? Any moment now, Mr. Tracy. Good. Well, Batik, Pat and I will leave you now. I don't think anyone knows that you're freed from jail or that you're leaving for Egypt. No, the fog tonight helped us get you aboard secretly, all right. Uh, you have both been most kind. Uh, the young man, Dick Tracy Jr., I would have liked to say goodbye to him. Uh, you will remember me to him? I certainly will, Batik. He's at home now. I don't like to keep him up too late. About the Mogol and Small, do you know where they are? Have you had any word, any clue? No, none as yet. But we're not going to let that discourage us. We're going to keep after them, and we'll get them, I'm sure of that. I hope so. However, I suppose it will not matter to me very much now. The black pearl is safe in this ring on my finger, and I am leaving for home. Well, it will matter to us, Batik. You see, this black pearl of yours has uncovered another sort of crime. A racket involving, among other things, the stealing of art treasures and selling them to a few unscrupulous collectors. And uh, what do you intend to do about it, Mr. Tracy? I'm going to put a stop to it, Batik. And my first move will be to get my hands on Dryden Small and the Mogul. And you think they are responsible? That once you have them, the case will be closed, eh? No, no, I'm afraid that'll only be the beginning. I'm convinced that this racket is not limited to these two or that it's just a local affair. It's national, perhaps international. I've discovered that many of these so-called art treasures have been sent here from abroad and distributed by the agents here in this country. You think so? We're ready to sail, Mr. Tracy. Good. Well... Goodbye, Batik. Ah, uh, no, not goodbye, my friend. Only, as we say in Egyptian, mahu nahoni. Say, what does that mean? Well, it means uh, au wiedersehen, au revoir, until we meet again. And so, mahu nahoni, my very dear friend. Dick, I'm going to miss that fellow Batik. I was getting to like him very much. Yeah, so was I, Pat. I'm very glad things have turned out nicely for him. Batik's job is finished now. He's taking the Pearl of Osiris back to his people. I wish I could say the same about our job. You mean we've still got to get hold of the old girl and drive them small, huh? Yes, yes, that for one thing. I'd like to have seen their faces when they opened that ring and found it didn't contain the Black Pearl. Hmm. They don't know that the Pearl itself is now on its way back to Egypt. Unless I miss my guess, Pat... They're wondering at this moment where the pearl is. I'm planning to find out. Get it. Gosh, they certainly are a very slippery pair and managed to cover their tracks well. The boys have been unable to get one lead or clue as to their whereabouts. What I'd like to know is, who's behind the Mogul? Who's the real power behind the throne? Uh, don't look at me. I can't even begin to guess, Dick. Are you sure there's someone else? Oh, yes, yes, quite sure, Pat. Of course, I've nothing to go on, nothing concrete and tangible, but you and I have been in this business long enough, Pat, to know the signs. I think the signs definitely point to agents higher up. All of which means no rest for the weary, huh? Don't we ever get a break, Dick? Uh, Must a new case come right on the heels of an old one? Well, isn't there such a thing as a vacation, or, or shouldn't I ask? Well, you can ask, all right. No harm in that. But until crime takes a holiday or a vacation, we have to stay right on the job. Policeman Pat can't be clock watchers or punch time cards. That's right. Well, here we are. Let's go upstairs and get to bed. It'll be a few hours of vacation, anyway. Well, I've been routed out of bed before, Dick. So there isn't always a vacation, either. Open the door quietly, Pat. I don't want to waken Junior. Okay. Well, here we are. Snap on the light, Pat. Right. Oh, I'm so tired. I think I could sleep for a week. 
going right to bed, Dick? No, no, I want to finish the last chapter of the book I'm reading. Huh. Not a detective story, is it? No, no, it's a, it's a textbook, Pat, on scientific investigation. You want to read it. There's a lot of interesting data in it about analysis of fingerprints, dust, and other pieces of evidence you may have. Yeah, well, some other time, perhaps. Tonight I'll leave all that to you. Hm. I'm going to bed. Well, pleasant dreams, Pat. Don't wake you. Don't worry, I won't. Dick! Yes? Come here, quick! What is it, Pat? Something wrong? I'll say there is. It's Junior. He's not here, Dick. He's gone. What has happened to Junior? Has he become a victim of the Mogul and Dryden Small? And what can Dick Tracy do to save him? Well, we know he'll do everything he can. But here comes Dick Tracy now to take charge of the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol meeting. And the Quaker Oats Company, makers of delicious, nourishing Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice, invite every wide-awake boy and girl to attend. The meeting will now come to order. All right, Dick, you're in charge. Thank you, Mr. Quaker Man. I just want to tell all you boys and girls how happy I am at the great way you're sending in for Dick Tracy's secret ring. I expected that the minute I saw the secret ring, didn't you, Dick? Yes, yes, but the boys and girls haven't seen it. You've really got to see it to appreciate it. Yes, but we told them about the secret compartment, that it's exactly like the one you kept the Black Pearl of Osiris in. Oh, yes, yes, and we said it's plated with 14 karat gold, that it's adjustable to fit any size finger and that it's a fine, heavy, well-made ring. But I still maintain that you've got to see that ring really to appreciate it. Well, of course, the fact that there's an excellent picture of you on the signet wouldn't make the boys and girls want it either. <laughs> They'll want it in spite of that, Mr. Quaker Man. <laughs> That's a great ring, and I want every boy and girl to wear one. So get your free Dick Tracy secret ring now. Just mail five Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice box tops with your name and address on a plain piece of paper to Dick Tracy... Box L, Chicago. And don't forget, you girls can be stylish and smart with a new gold-plated Dick Tracy bangle bracelet, as well as a Dick Tracy secret ring. It's a beauty, girls. The charms show pictures of Dick Tracy and Junior and a lucky four-leaf clover. It's free, too, just like the secret ring. You send five Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice box tops for the Dick Tracy bracelet and five Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice box tops for the secret ring to Dick Tracy, Box L, Chicago. Enclose your name and address printed on a plain piece of paper and state whether you want the ring, the bracelet, or both. And don't wait until they're all gone, boys and girls. Look in the pantry to see if there's a package of delicious, quick-energy Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice there now. Tear off the box top as soon as it's empty. And if there isn't any, ask Mother to get you some Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice from the grocer. Look for the store that displays the Dick Tracy Headquarters sign. Remember, there'll be a secret code message in tomorrow's adventure. So be sure to have your pencil and paper ready when you tune in on Dick Tracy. Adventure fans, calling all Dick Tracy fans, stand by for another exciting Dick Tracy adventure tomorrow at this same time. That is all. Oh.